Me and my best friend's babies, I'm back with another video. Um, I've been contemplating for hours whether I should sit there and make this video or not, or just leave it as it was, but it's a few things that I honestly want to speak about, and then I'll be done from there, because I'm honestly getting tired of a lot, and it's coming to a point to by the end of this year, I'm honestly going to be on my own, because I'm not about to keep dealing with a lot of stuff, just bull crap. I'm not about to keep doing that, and it's honestly showing everybody's true colors, and I honestly didn't believe that. Females even DM me talking about once you get pregnant, it's going to show everybody's true colors. It's going to show who really going to be in your life and who really not going to be in your life. It's going to show who talk bad about you, who praying on your downfall. It's going to show like people going to try you. And I'm honestly starting to see that. I never thought it was going to happen to me. Even though I'll be talking crazy. Like, I be talking crazy. But I really be chill. I only talk crazy when somebody say something to me. Like, I just don't come off the world where it's talking crazy. Like, every time something is said to me, I don't talk crazy. But I'm going to get into that later on in the video. But I'm just starting to see a lot, and it's starting to show a lot. And while the, all of this is going on during my pregnancy, this is something I won't forget. This will be happening before when people say certain stuff, but for it to be going on right now, this is something I would never forget, actually, ever. I will always remember who did something. I will always remember who said something during my pregnancy. I will always remember that I'm not going to forget that. And it's really going to show how I rock with people down the line after I have my baby. It's really going to determine a lot. But anywho, um, I want to get on here and speak on a few things because, one, I don't need to keep up an image for nothing. I promise y'all, I don't need to try to keep up no image. Try to sit there and sell y'all a dream, sell y'all a lie, tell y'all I'm this person, that person, whoop the whoop, yada, yada. I don't need to do that. It's not that serious for me. Like, seriously, it's not. So, this is my last video speaking about it. And now I'm just going to go about my day because I'm not about to keep going back and forth with a person that really needs their image that bad to where they got to sit there and keep lying. I'm not. It's pointless. But one thing about it, I never got to get on the internet. I never get on the internet and just be negative. Y'all always see me posting funny videos, posting my Instagram and TikTok videos. Y'all always see me do that. So, it's like, somebody even DM me. They was like, this is the most I've ever seen you go off on people. Like, I'm used to seeing you post funny videos and everything. Don't let them stress you out. And seeing a person say that to me, I know I'll be tripping out, but it's like seeing another person say that to me, like, this is the most I've ever seen you do that. It's not like you. It shows me I really got to chill out. Like, I'll be going back and forth with people. Yeah, I do that. I've been doing it for years. I told you on the last video. I need to chill out with that. But lately, I've been, I dropped like about a good four videos on people. On YouTube ever since I've been pregnant like I've been went on I went off on a lot of people these past two months and a lot of people showed their true colors these past two months as well and it's crazy that the closest person to me the closest person I was close to um I wouldn't say show their true colors they've been showed it but I just sat there and put up with it because I cared a lot like I was sitting there looking past it but it's like what was said behind closed doors a few days ago just really put the icing on the cake for me and that's the main reason why I sat there and got on the internet and vented again because it's like for that to be said you have your two abort mine I go abort mine you have your two you got your boy and girl already for that to be said it's crazy real crazy and another thing I sat there and peeped um when a person said they wish they wasn't my baby daddy and stuff like that. Uh, it's crazy how that was said to me. But, you know, you have a whole nother. There's a whole nother situation going on that y'all probably don't know about because they don't really speak on. They, I don't really see that they speak on it. But um, they have a whole nother situation. And that was never said to that. And so much more has happened with that. And with me, I was full-fledged into you. Full-fledged. I never sat there and I can't even say that part, but I just never did the things that was done in last situations. I never did that towards you. So for that to be said about me, it's very crazy and wild. When everything that was done over there, I never did towards you whatsoever. I had my arguments and everything like that. We had arguments, um, attitudes, fights, all of that. I had that cool great but the serious stuff i never did that 
So for that to be said, make sure that is being stood on. For what was said on the phone, make sure that is also being stood on. More than welcome to go back over there. That's totally fine. But um, another thing that was in that same sentence was they deserve better. They deserve more. If y'all honestly feel like that, that person deserves more. If you honestly feel like you deserve more, deserve better, go right ahead. Y'all can have at it. Because I'm tired of people trying to make it seem like that I'm the bad person. Because just because I get on the internet and speak on how I feel and vent. Y'all, me venting on the internet is nothing new. Just because I got in a relationship, that's nothing new. I was venting before I even got in either of the relationships y'all seen. I was on Instagram in 2020. Had 20K. I was on live with my supporters. If y'all knew about that, then y'all knew I used to go live. I used to play games with y'all. I used to, we all used to just be chilling, literally having a conversation. I used to do Zoom calls and just talk to y'all. So y'all know it's like, I always was talking to y'all. It never was a, oh, she just get on here when it's, no, I always, we used to talk to y'all. I will always vent. I will always just sit there and say how I feel. My Instagram story, my YouTube, and my Snapchat story. Or like my snap is all my safe spaces. So it's like I don't talk to people in real life. So when I get on there and talk to y'all, it's my safe spaces because we really just be talking, we be chilling, we be having a conversation. It's like now that people feel like that I have more of a bigger platform, I need to put more of like a role model on. I, I shouldn't have to like express how I feel anymore because I have a bigger platform when that's not the case at all. I've been expressing how I feel before I even had a platform. I've been sitting there saying stuff. So for a person to sit there and say I'm always negative, that's not true at all. Nobody's always negative. I don't just become, I don't get on the internet and be negative unless something is done towards me. And that's what y'all are feeling to realize. Y'all like to sit there and say, oh, she's young. She's this and she's that. Be for real. Y'all are calling me young because y'all see me getting on the internet and talking about my feelings. What? A lot of y'all other people say, even... His, t his people over there will try to say I'm young and stuff like that. I was young when I knew him. So, this is not news to him neither. He tried to sit there and say, if you so much happened to this person, if this person did so much to you, why'd you stick around? If I was so young, childish, and all this, and you was tired of me getting on the internet and expressing myself, why would you stick around? Me, the thing about me is, this situation and my last situation knows this. I don't just sit there and give up on people. I don't sit there and be like, oh, yeah, well, F you and go about my day and date somebody else. I don't just sit there and just date a lot of people and leave them alone, like date them for a month and leave them alone. Me, I have an actual real good heart, a real good heart. I don't fake having a good heart. I have an actual good heart. People could sit there and do the craziest things to me and I tolerate it. And it's crazy. I know I shouldn't do stuff like that, but like. I'm that type of person because I be trying to, like, I will try and try and try until I actually can't try no more and I'm forced to leave somebody alone. Like, that's the only way I'll leave somebody. Like, if I'm really forced to leave somebody alone or something else will sit there and happen then. Yeah, but I'm not the person to just leave somebody alone so fast, especially when I put all my time into you. When I put everything into you, when I sat there and did stuff for you and, like, put my all into you and then for a person to just sit there and be like, oh, well, you can just leave. What? That shows how much I really care for a person. That shows a lot. I don't just up and leave. I sat there and dealt with so much. I went through so much. And looked past so much. All because I care for a person. I sat there and loved a person like all of this. And for that to be said, that's crazy. You said that to the person that's always been there. You said that to the person. You said that about a person that's literally will pick up that phone no matter what happens or something happen to you. But it's not being said to the person that will literally say F you. So much that's happened over there, but you know, dudes like a female that's basically they can gaslight, manipulate, control, run over, all this other stuff. Dudes like also like a female that can't really speak up for themselves. I'm speaking up for myself. I'm sitting there expressing how I feel. Dudes don't like that. They like the ones that can't really, that don't have a platform and can't really say how they feel. They can't really tell other people how that person is. They like those types. That's why I always be some type of love for that because they can't talk. They try to, but y'all didn't see it. But with me, I'm just expressing how I feel and dudes don't like that. 
dudes don't like when people are finding out like how they really are and stuff like that. That's why they'll try to sit there and go the farthest to try to make y'all believe something that ain't really true or try to make the other person a bad person because they get on the internet and express how they feel. So like I said, if y'all feel like the person deserves more, deserve better, because I'm on the internet expressing how I feel and they believe I'm so internet, it is what it is at this point. I'm not about to sit there and just sit and look dumb, sit quietly and not say nothing, knowing that this is what's being said to me behind closed doors. This is what's going on behind the scenes. I'm not about to sit there and fake it and be like, oh, yeah, no, everything is fine. Like, yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm vibing. When I actually feel away deep down inside, I'm not doing that. So if you want to go with the person that can't say nothing, go ahead. I knew like a long time ago, but I didn't really believe it. That's another thing I had. I got to do. Just stop talking when it comes to a lot of stuff. Because I was told a lot of stuff for years that I didn't sit there and believe. But it's like, now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of stuff is really starting to add up. And it's sad because when you put your all into somebody, you don't want to believe a lot of stuff. But then when you actually start thinking about it, you start to really see a lot of stuff. And it's like, it's just crazy that that will be said for a person that literally would try or try to give you everything like the world, even if you don't ask or none of that. I'm a girl that likes to give rather than receive. So when I like you, my pockets literally love you. I would try to make you the happiest person ever. Like, if you didn't get to do something in your life and you tell me about that, I would try to make that happen. Like, if you had something going on in your life, I would try to make sure you're good. I'll do that with, I did that with people that I actually care for, for real, for real. That was a good, yeah. I did it people for, I actually had a care for back then. And it's like, when I think about it, I overdo stuff for people, and that's my problem. My biggest problem is this. I overdo stuff for people, and in return, it's not it's not the same energy whatsoever. I do so I do too much. Like I would sit there and try to make sure the person was is straight, physically, mentally, emotionally. I'll try to do all this stuff. But then when it's my turn, or when it's on me, nothing. Then down the line, it's a, oh, well, what did you ever do for me? That's very crazy for that to even be said. Out of any person mouth that I ever sat there and this, like, careful and tried to give the world to, that would be very crazy to be, for that to be said. What have I ever done for you? What did I do to deserve this? That's crazy to sit there and say. I can't name the last time, like, anything has sat there and happened. Like, I just can't name it. Because I'm so busy worrying about, like, oh, I want to do this for a person. I want to do that for a person. I want to make sure they're happy. Nobody's make sure that I'm happy. Nobody. I'm always, I'm literally all working. Well, I haven't been working lately, but, um... Social media wise, I haven't been on the internet either, but before then I was working constantly and stuff like that. And even trying to do like the fun stuff, try to do stuff for people. I'll be trying to like save up certain stuff for certain things so I can make people happy. And at the end of the day, it's like I'm doing all of this just for somebody to say down the line. You didn't have to do this for me. I ne You never did nothing for me. I'm doing all of that just to hear that down the line. It's wasteful. But I'm not going to really speak on too much because something just telling me in the back of my head, like, let everything just reveal itself. If y'all want to believe that I'm the bad guy because I express my feelings when something is done towards me, if y'all want to believe I'm the bad guy for that or young or I don't know a lot of stuff, y'all can believe it at this point. I'm not about to sit there and keep trying to, like, because y'all not understanding. Y'all obviously not getting it at this point. Y'all not getting it. And I'm not about to keep sitting there talking to y'all about it if y'all not getting it. Like, I don't just come out of nowhere and be negative. That's the whole thing about it.
y'all may see me talking, saying certain stuff, but this doesn't just come out of nowhere. Anybody that has met me, y'all know I was real cool from jump. Anybody I ever even got into a win, don't talk to no more. Y'all know I was cool from jump. Y'all know I was real cool. I was a sweetheart from jump. Y'all ain't know I had attitude problems and stuff like that, but y'all knew I was real cool. Once y'all started doing stuff towards me and stuff, and once I started getting tool with people, y'all started seeing my attitude. Y'all started seeing me cutting up on like y'all started seeing that. But in the beginning, everything was real cool. I don't just come out of nowhere rude. I don't come out of nowhere mean. Someone literally has to do something towards me. Somebody literally has to sit there and say something towards me. You have to literally keep disrespecting me for me to sit there and treat you the same way you treat me. I don't do that for no reason. And that's what y'all are feeling to realize. So, whatever y'all want to believe at this point, y'all believe. I'm going by my day. I ain't got nothing else to say after this. Um, Just make sure that what was said Make sure that is stood on. When it comes to the baby daddy deserving more, the two having your two already, make sure that is being stood on. Okay? I'm out, y'all, and I need to go eat something because I haven't ate all day. So, bye.